Hey guys, I'm going to do a marathon of filming today because I feel like I have a lot of things I need to say. The weather is great, it's nice and sunny outside, so I'm like, let's get some filming in. So today I wanna to talk about a topic that Ariel Bassett um, introduced. And I feel like I'm, I'm about 10 years older than Ariel. Not really, but closer to 10. Uh, and I feel like I need to discuss this topic from a perspective of someone closer to their 30s. And that topic is sex in books. Let's talk about it. I have things I want to say. So there is this controversy about young adult fiction versus new adult fiction. Um, that new adult fiction is just a sexier version of young adult fiction, which is totally incorrect. Um, I feel like a lot of people generalize what new adult fiction is because it's a new genre that people can fit into. And then there are, there's a stigma with new adult that um, people tend to have um, because of a lot of the content in a lot of new adult fiction. There is not sex in every new adult fiction book, but even if there was, so what? Um, sex in books, I feel like People don't like to talk about sex period. Of course, it's a societal thing. For some reason, our society just thinks sex is a big dirty secret and that we were all brought here by Martians and aliens and we don't procreate at all. Bless you. My little cat sneeze. So procreation doesn't exist on this earth at all. We just happen to pop up whenever we decide that we want kids. We just wish it really hard and kids pop up. That's how we all got here. We didn't get here by sex at all, you guys. I don't know what you learned in school, but it was wrong. So anyway, it's such a taboo topic. People just don't enjoy talking about sex. I, for one, am a red-blooded woman and sex is part of my everyday life whether I have it or not is not your business but it's part of my everyday life it's in what I read it's in what I watch it's in the conversations that I hear it's just something that people need to get over and just recognize that it exists they need to get over their fear of it or their aversion to it or they're too conservative and too oh I'm too shy no I feel like a lot of things that happen nowadays the trans uh, sexually transmitted diseases the unplanned pregnancies um, abortions things like that in my opinion I feel like they happen because people aren't comfortable with having the convert having a conversation about sex and how it's okay to have those conversations so I feel like a lot of times when you see things that is anything that is relatively close to sex in a young adult book red flag red flag red flag this is new adult red flag and people go absolutely insane over it and I think a lot of the time and Ariel Bassett said this that we underestimate our youth we underestimate 16 17 18 year old girls um and what they know and what they're learning and there are changes happening in their bodies and I say girls but yes I mean guys too but I can't help it I'm a girl I'm gonna speak from that perspective um, there are things that happen within our bodies, hormones, feelings, emotions, all of the things. And a lot of times young adult books will address those issues subtly in a way that it sparks, it can spark a conversation. But the only way that can happen is if there's no fear of sparking that conversation. If as a young girl, I'm going to tell you what happened with me. I went to a Catholic school, kindergarten through 12th grade. My biology teacher was definitely afraid of the last chapter in our biology book because it was sexual reproduction. We never touched that chapter. Um, I did not learn about sex in high school. I didn't, even in middle school. I didn't learn about sex in school. How did I learn about sex and reproductive organs and all that? I taught myself. I went to the library every day after school and I would check out a book and I would sit in between the library aisles, the book aisles, and just read and read and read and read. I was too nervous to take the book home because I would, my mom might see it and then that would spark a whole conversation. Are you having sex? Blah, 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 blah. And that's not what it was about. I was curious about my body and what all the parts did and what, what it meant. And my school didn't teach you about your reproductive organs and what sex was, but my school did teach you about what could be the negative results of sex, such as 
um, STDs. I saw all kind of disease written penises and vaginas in um, school, which is weird. How do you show me what a disease written penis and vagina looks like, but you don't want to tell me what sex is so I can know what not to do, do and how? That makes no sense to me. People are so afraid of talking about sex because it's like, oh, if I talk about sex, that means that my kids are going to do it. They're going to have sex. Not necessarily. I feel like a lot of times when you educate people, they are going to be armed with the appropriate information and make the informed decision based on what they know. What I have come to learn is that teenagers, young adults are going to do whatever the hell they want to, regardless of their parents desires they're just going to do what they whatever they wish to and as a parent i'm not a parent but as someone who mentors young girls all i can do is hope and all i can do is instill in them the necessary information and knowledge and morals so that when that decision comes they make the one that's right for them now you all know i'm christian you know all of that and i'm not someone who advocates you know for sex before marriage I, I don't advocate for it but if you do it that's your thing you know I'm not gonna judge you oh hi Bailey wants in on the conversation yeah I'm not gonna judge you with what you do I mean your life is yours you know I just I just I know what I won't do what I will and won't do you know but back to books so I feel like sex is such a taboo thing but that when it's introduced in literature I think people want to talk about it because that is an excellent avenue for sex to be introduced that's why I think new adult is becoming so popular but it's also why I think people have an aversion to new adult because they feel like oh there's sexy times there's a lot of sex in there sex 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 but new adult is roughly 18 to 24 years old college age and just after college. And so during those college years, believe it or not, there's a lot of sexy times happening, whether it's you or your friend or someone you know or someone you go to school with, whatever. There's a lot of sex happening in college. It's just the way that it is. And so there are books that demonstrate that experience and those emotions and the things that can happen. And I am and one person who supports the new adult genre because it's real. There are a lot of real stories in the new adult genre. There are a lot of real emotions, real situations that while the character names are different, you could potentially have known someone who has gone through a, a similar situation that character one has gone through. And I feel like having a real and authentic experience involves sex. Whether you're a religious person or not a religious person, sex is there. It's just part of all our culture. And I feel like as an individual, as a young woman, I need to be comfortable having that conversation with anyone. You know, I just feel like I don't, I don't want to be backed into a corner or feel like, oh, I shouldn't talk about this topic or I need to whisper when I say the word sex because people will get the wrong idea and think that I'm having it. Who cares? I don't care if you think that I'm having it, what, whether I'm having it or not, I know. You don't have to know. And I feel like a lot of people just are uncomfortable with the idea of sex in books because they're uncomfortable with the idea of sex in general. And it just blows my mind. Sex happens. That's how we got on this earth. Adam and Eve had a lot of sex, people. That's how we're here. That's how we're here. You know, you put the thing in the thing and things happen. And that's just science. That's, how, that's very basic science. You know, I'm not a science professor, you know. But that's just how it happens. And I feel like it's so silly when people don't want to talk about it. And... I, it, it really, I think, is a hindrance. I think it hinders our society. It stunts our society. Um, it's the reason, in my opinion, why rape culture exists. It's a reason why there's so much um, sexual
sexual abuse against women, against children, against men. There is just a misunderstanding or a miseducation about um, sex in our society. And I personally feel like um, books are an avenue to where you can introduce realistic stories with a little bit of fantasy. Of course, it's fictional. But just introducing the concept of sex. And I'm not saying books are the best way, at, or nor am I saying they are the only way, but they are a way. And that is why I appreciate um, authors like Jay Cronover, like Jennifer L. Armentrout, uh, Chelsea Fine, um, tons of people, Cora Carmack, um, Sophie Jordan, Tina Reber, there's just so many. K.A. Tucker, um, they, are, they aren't afraid, you know? And granted, they may not be trying to teach a lesson, you know, in writing sex scenes in their books, but they're comfortable, you know, with talking about sex in their books. They're comfortable with their characters having sex in their books because people have sex. It's, it's, it's normal. So Jennifer L. Armentrout, in my opinion, is one of the best young adult intimacy scene writers I have ever come across. She pushes the boundary of young adult and new adult. And I personally think that's okay for those 17, 18 year olds, those late junior, senior year um, high school students. She's perfect for them. And I think a lot of times, like I said, we underestimate our youth. We really, really do. Our youth is able to comprehend sex. They're able to comprehend what goes on around their, amongst their peers and their parents and their friends and whatnot. They're not stupid. And I feel like a lot of times the society wants to make, want, fit, um, pushes the fact that our youth is stupid and they're not at all. And I just really appreciate authors like that that just write about sex and just write about real human emotions and real actions and reactions um, when it comes to sexual relationships because sex happens. So what do you guys think? I think sex, the conversation around sex is something that needs to change in our culture. It's, it needs to change. There needs to be a conversation about sex in media, you know, just sex in everyday lives. You know, parents need to stop being so afraid of talking about sex with their kids. Now, what age you decide to do that at is your business. I'm just saying I didn't get sexual educa sex education in um, high school. And the only reason I talked to my mom about it is after I read about it and I went to her afterwards. Um, parents are just uncomfortable with that kind of thing. Teachers are uncomfortable. Um, and sometimes going to your friend not the best way to do it either. Um, I just, the culture around sex just needs to be different. It really, really does. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let's talk it out. I told you guys I would have more hot topics and discussion videos on this channel. And I'm just really curious what you guys think about sex and sex in culture. Are you uncomfortable with it? Where, do, where are your thoughts? This is a free and safe space. You will not see any negative or hurtful comments in the comments down below. I delete them if I feel like they're rude or um, inappropriate. Let's have a tasteful conversation. And when I say tasteful, you can curse. You can say the name of body parts. You can say what you want. Just don't insult people. That's all I ask. So comment down below. Let's talk it out. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.